Hello and welcome to Rock Talk. I'm Dr. Killjoy. My name is C-Train. If Thanks you, for stopping by our little slice of podcast heaven. If you like what you see today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and join us for more. Unfortunately, Lord Six couldn't be here with us today. Uh, is, we, 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 we have an empty void. We have a void. Lord Six uh, is currently receiving treatment for an injury he obtained while writing poetry for the Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> it was, he was writing his... What is this? Sweets. Syllables. Sweet syllables. And he just got through the first line and he celebrated so much. <laughs> kicked his own toe and he is down for the count. This could be some of his best poetry he has he has ever written. He has shed wounds for this poetry. So be sure to catch his poetry on TikTok. Uh, it I'm sure to be well worth it. It'd be well illuminated. <laughs> well illuminated. <laughs> Get well soon. Get well soon. We will wish him. Well wishes and a quick, re- well, well quick wishes recovery. And, a quick, and a quick recovery. Uh, but that's not what today's show is about. No, uh, it is not. It is not his his it show. It is not. Today we're going to be talking about uh, um, movies and concerts and shows. Yeah, and people. Didn't you just recently go to see the great ones of Metallica? Uh, we did. We did. We just went and seen the seventy two season uh, tour up down in L A. How was that? That was phenomenal. Um, was this was my actual first time seeing Metallica live. Uh, seeing, I, go figure. You'd think I would have seen them before, but uh, this this was actually the first time I've actually seen them, and I gotta say I was very very impressed for for guys their age to be playing like they were forty years ago is is it's amazing to me. Was it a sold out show? It was. It was uh, over seventy thousand people. Wow! Down at uh, SoFi Stadium in L.A. Nice. And actually, we were very fortunate because um, uh, the very next show, the, the following week, they were to, to play in Phoenix. And apparently, um, James Hetfield uh, got sick during the show, and they were unable to complete the first night. Wow. This, this, this is a, a two-night show. Um, it's a Friday night and a Sunday night. Two completely different set lists, uh, completely different songs. Um, and I know in Phoenix, they were unable to uh, play the Sunday night show um, because of James Hetfield's illness, and I, we again, we hope he gets better. We hope he has a quick recovery. Uh, the guy's phenomenal, great performer, great guy. He just, I mean, he just had that crowd going. Some of those songs, I mean, I couldn't even hear James Hetfield for that for the fans singing. Um, was the set list uh, spread out through all their albums, or was it concentrated more on Master of Puppets and the new album, Seventy Two Seasons, or was it was it evenly divided amongst? All of the releases that they've had. For the most part, it was pretty well spread out. They didn't seem to play a whole lot of, of uh, Injustice. But uh, they, they had a pretty pretty good mix between old and new songs. And and they haven't, they haven't didn't miss a lick. They were all, all good. It was all good stuff. I've heard that the stage was, was pretty cool. The uh, It's kind of in the middle of the arena, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's in the middle of the arena. And, and they kind of... Um, Lars, he'll start his uh, he'll start the show with the drum in one section of the the circle stage, and then throughout the show he'll he'll keep moving. He's got four drum sets that go down and come up, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's it's a good way to get or involve the entire crowd to let yeah. the entire crowd see uh, get as good a view as they can of of the band. What was your favorite tune from the set list? For whom the belt holes? Really, that one's one I was really looking forward to see, and I got to say one. They nailed that one. One was a really good tune. They played it really well. Um, I said, hats off, guys. You guys did a really good job. Nice. So you would go back and see them again? Absolutely. And then I'd strongly recommend it. If you're going to go see one show, um, this would be a good one to go see. Oh, uh, Pantera was the opening act. How were, how were they? Pantera was the opening act on uh, the first night. And... Uh, they were they were they were pretty good. I was interested. It was interesting seeing Zach Wild uh, fill in the shoes for Dimebag. Did he? He did. He Zach Wild is a phenomenal guitarist. I think if you're going to get anybody to fill in the shoes for Dimebag, it would be Zach Wild. Zach Wild is the man to go to. The guy is a great performer. He's he's a great stage presence. Uh, he did a phenomenal job. Um, did the, uh, did the tune sound like Pantera or did it sound like 
Pantera cover band. No, they really sound like Pantera. They, they, they sound? sounded like they did back in the day. Uh, if you're a Pantera fan uh, and you want to go see their show, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, they still got that energy. They, see, they still got that attitude. Um, the mosh pits were still a-flowing. I think at one time they, they'd have like uh, any given time they'd have at least four mosh pits wow. for pretty much every song that we've seen. Oh, uh, was uh, were they on a stage or were they in the round as well? Did they? they were, it was the same stage. Same stage. So they, same exactly. So they got a chance to play yeah. in the round. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then on the, the following night it was a uh, Five Finger De- Death Punch, and I've never really listened to Five Finger Death Punch, and I really. Either. I heard a couple of their tunes. I, I haven't heard too much by them. Uh, I gotta say, they were pretty good. They they were better than I thought they would be. It, it, it was enough to encourage me to go maybe listen to some more of their music and get a better idea of of what they are as as a band musically. Um, nothing bad to say about none of the bands that played. I think Metallica chose their opening acts wisely. I think it was a, a, a well put together. Um, it, it was just a good show. It's well worth the money. I heard that uh, Phil Anselmo uh, from Pantera uh, plays barefoot. He did. That he did. I caught that. He was walking around the bare, walking like he's walking on the beach. Wow. And I, I thought it was kind of cool because he just had like little surfer shorts on and a t-shirt and out there doing his thing, walking on the beach, just angry as ever. <laughs> Still angry. Just an angry person. Yeah, I'd, I'd seen some uh, some shots on uh, YouTube and it showed him barefoot and. I'm sure the stage has to be swept of any debris or anything like that. If anybody throws a bottle, he's, well, he's today's, kind of done for. In today's day and age where you got to put a white, wet wipe on everything you touch and wear a mask and all that stuff, I'm really surprised that he was able to go out there and do that. But I'm glad he did because it, it showed his comfort level with uh, the people he's performing for. He was, you can tell he, he enjoys what he does. What, uh, what was the duration of, of Pantera's show, and what was the duration of Metallica's show? Uh, well, we got there towards the last part of it. It started at 6 o'clock, and it ran all the way till 8. Pantera came on. Pantera. Metallica came on about 9, and they played till about 11. So they're, they were both about two-hour shows. It's not too bad. Yeah. It was, it's a good show. It was worth the money. But that Metallica, that was just probably the highest energy I have ever seen in any concert. I mean, you could just you could just feel the love of the band, the love of the music. Uh, you, like you had seventy thousand people, the the arena was packed, and everybody was just in good spirits, just enjoying the music. Um, I think I only seen one guy get arrested, and I don't know what he did, but I'm sure it was stupid. Um, There's always that one. Everybody it looked it looked like everybody was having a good time. You know, I saw a concert from uh, not a concert, but a. Um... On YouTube, there was Motley Crue's first night with John Five, and they started their show, and the crowd was just completely out of it. Really, they had abs- they, were, they were there was no energy from the crowd, and the song itself was 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 a good tune. Uh, Wild Side, I think, was the first opening track, but they did a pan of the of the crowd, and it looks like the it, it's looking like. The crowd was having a conversation, and Motley Crue just happened to, to start playing. Just in the background, yeah, like they were just in the background, just you know, it was like, it was like um, hanging out. Yeah, they could have been singing anything, and the crowd just did not care. Yeah, you got to love those kind of concerts. So it's more like a pickup ground, I guess. You go there to meet girls and not watch the show. Yeah, but it's when, like sitting in a bar. Or something. But when the band comes out and energizes the crowd and gets things moving, I mean, that's that's really what you go for is the concert oh, experience. Yeah. It really was, and honestly, this would be this would be one for the memories. And and you know, I've been to shows to where like um, so far, I got to say, one of the bands I enjoy watching the least is probably uh, um, Armored Saint. <laughs> I I I can't get into their music. It all it all sounds the same, and and it's the same kind of crowd, same kind of thing. I mean, it's people are you can tell they're sitting there playing on their phones, just watch or just waiting for the band that they show up showed up to go see start playing yeah well the armor saint's been around for a while but i'm i'm not familiar with much of their music maybe one or two tracks at the most but uh when we saw them opening for wasp that was uh that was kind of it wasn't a downer it just seemed like mm, okay yeah next yeah it was it was garage band yeah i mean they, it's not that they weren't bad or they weren't good musicians they were they were good musicians it's just they're one of those bands who probably need somebody to write their material for them. Okay, so if you like, if you guys like what you see today, please be sure to like and subscribe. 
Uh, follow us for more, and also don't forget to catch our podcast on Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you might find your podcast. But for now, let's uh, wish Lord Six uh, a speedy recovery. Speedy recovery, and uh, we'll, we'll get you on the next one. Have a good night. <laughs>